Hello and welcome to another video. Today I am at the former Herculaneum dock in Liverpool and I'm checking out what's left of it. Now there's not much left. Currently situated in the old dock is the City Key Apartments, but alongside it, inside, is the old casemates where they used to store petrol or petroleum uh, before they shipped it across the Stanlow. So I'm just waiting for Eric to turn up and we're gonna get inside and we're gonna check it out. Herculaneum Dock was part of the Port of Liverpool in Liverpool, England. It was at the south end of the Liverpool Dock system on the River Mersey. To the north, it was connected to Hallington Dock. The dock was named after the Herculaneum Pottery Company that had previously occupied the site. From 1767, a tidal basin in the area that would become the dock was used for unloading copper for the smelting works. Between 1794 and 1841, it was the site of a pottery. In 1864, a new dock designed by George Fosby Leicester was blasted from the foreshore, providing two graving docks. This dock opened in 1866. Ten years later, a third graving dock was added. Beginning in 1873, the dock handled petroleum, and in 1878, specialist casemates were built to store this and other volatile cargo within the sandstone cliffs above. Liverpool remained an important port during the Second World War, with Herculaneum Dock acting as a terminus for the North Atlantic convoys. Herculaneum Dock was formerly served by its own station on the Liverpool Overhead Railway. The station and railway closed on the 30th of December 1956. By 1958, demolition of the station had been completed. In 1872, Herculaneum Dock closed, being filled in during the 80s to create a car park. After closure, it was reclaimed for the Liverpool Garden Festival and residential properties. In 2004, the site was bought by national property developer David McLean Homes and a riverside residential development called City Key Liverpool was built on the dock. Since the closing of Herculaneum Dock, what was the main dock area is now a car park and where the graving docks were are now office buildings. A map of 1901 shows the entrance to the dock with the letter L. A restaurant has since been built on this. You can see them over there. Right. We're in. I think we can get access to the uh, other side from here. I'm open anyway, unless this is separate. Yeah. You know, we'll find out when we get to the end here. I think you can. I think you just get round yeah. whole thing. Get through here, I think get through here. Huh? And all yeah. I think though by the look of it, it is sort of like looks like a graving dock, doesn't it? Mm. Oh yeah, look at the size of that koi. Wow. Wowza. Oh. Size of him. Lovely aren't they? Must be another one there. Wow. No, what you want to do is get your action in there. Yeah. Little step for frogs or whatever. Yeah. Lovely, innit? You don't really see these on, I don't think. Yeah, would you say this is one of the old docks? What do you reckon? Lovely, yeah. yeah. Full of wood. You can get inside it, I think. Yeah, this is the one that was opened years ago. It's a bit flooded, like, but as you can see, look at it. Just carved that a pure sandstone. Not that good. Throw that off. Mm. 
Smart, isn't it? Yeah, some hooks there. So basically what you're looking at here is one of the casemates that was used to store petrol before they shipped it across to Stanlow. Carved out of the bedrock. So above is uh, Grafton Street and Cockburn Street. And then to the left, that way, is the Dingle Tunnel, the Herculaneum Pub, all sat on bedrock. I wonder where that water's coming from. As if that barrel, is that for, do you reckon that's for someone wants to use that water bus? Let's have a quick look in. Some sleepers or something. Some brickwork there, something's being patched up. Nuts in it. Is that what it is? All oh, right. Great to see another bit of Liverpool history, like. Even though it's only very minor. Right, so the only one open at the moment is number, was it 43 or something? To the left there is Green's gym. There's, there is one, in fact, in fact, there's another one open there, you know. There. Yeah, we'll walk around. I don't think I've ever been in that one, to be honest, like. Well, just walk up and round, I mean, to be honest with you. We're not doing anything wrong. Yeah, I've seen the sandstone there, the cliff. Yeah, look at that. I've never seen that before. So it is kind of true what I said, they were sandstone cliffs. Because obviously, you know, Grafton Street houses weren't built then, so they were just... Um, oh, don't know. I'll show you the old entrance to Herculaneum Dock as well. Which is only over the road, you know, by the Chinese restaurant. All these are locked. Number 38 it is. I don't know if someone's using that as a water bottle or just like. Yeah, nice to cool down though, isn't it? I'd say there's one or two still open. Um, they've got water pouring in there for some reason, so there's one outside by the gym. So we're going to check that out. There's a little baby seagull there. Where is he? Hello, mate. New fly, yeah? I'm going to check this one out at the end here because there's one open there's some sort of fella. I'm going to hide his jacket standing there as well. Eric's found another one open. Muddy? Yeah. Oh no. But I'm, I, do you know what? I have my walking boots. But I forgot to pull them on. Certainly not traipsing through that, mate. Danger falling debris. Obviously no parking in front, just in case the debris falls on your car. I think the one by Green's gym, every time I go past there and have a look, it looks like it's like proper sodden. That one's full of mud. You know. So it's seeping down stuff. It's all, well, that's why the Dingle Tunnel collapsed. Have you seen this as well, by the way? Do you know what that is? See that Mepas, remember I told you about Mepas? Yeah. Or Mepas? Uh, Mersey Estuary Pollution Alleviation Scheme. Um, basically that's a methane pipe. So I think, was it in the 80s, they built this massive, massive sewer that runs from like Garston or Ossespool right down to, um, what's that processing place in the dock? Not Gladstone Dock, Sand Sandon Dock is it? And basically that's the water treatment place, so it runs the whole length of the uh, promenade and the waterfront. Another one. There's quite a few open actually. That wet in there as well. This one's got further back. 
this, some of them were used. Um, I do remember vaguely car places used them. Or there was like garages before it become city key apartments. It stinks, don't it? That's the stuff that's stuck in water. That yeah. Thing. Wow. Mad though, isn't it? Still good to see, like, I don't know, two, three, maybe? I don't know. I think when I looked at renting them, they were about 800 quid. So, I don't know. Could be anything. Anything from. Nuts in it. Looks like it's storage or something in there. That one. Have you tried if you get the auction when you buy one? To have one? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I know there's one or two here last time that was like used for storage. Looks like it's. Do you, know what, do you know what the cup used for? Another you know maintenance? No, we're locked in. That, that, that gate closes as well. Oh, does it? Yeah, they're both, yeah. They both closed. Well, you must have a pedestrian thing where you can just walk up. Yeah, no, there's a key coded gate as well. Nuts like, innit? Like, it's a lovely place. Seems like they're quiet in that. Right, so what we're going to do now? Number one, number one open. Yeah, I think to be honest, but yeah, <laughs> it's all used for storage. <laughs> well, I know, yeah. You don't want us to go in, but we'll peek out. Peek out, Yeah. So what we're going to do now? We're going to get outside. We're going to walk up to by Green's gym. There's one or two there that look accessible. Um, we're going to come back and we're going to look at the Docker steps as well, and go up there along to the Herculaneum pub, hopefully. And um, here's our exit now. Someone is kindly letting us out. Happy days. Let's go, Ellie. Fun there. Wow. Don't forget to say thanks. European Capital of Culture 20, 2008. Oh. Cheers. Pass your drink a minute, Cheers. <laughs> Told you it was shut, didn't I? Jagged. Yeah, jagged. I've, I've ran out of jagged. It was worth a look, that. Uh, any, any holes of gold, mate? We haven't, we haven't finished the, this place yet. Right, so we are at the side of Green's gym, and there's two more which I think that look accessible. So we're going to try and get inside these ones. Number 52 and number 51 by the looks. It's the big iron door here on the floor. See? Big cast iron door or whatever it is. Oh yeah, all life fittings. Oh, pigeons. I think you might be oh look at that. It's mad, isn't it? Old hooks. Yeah, that's definitely a feature of this place, isn't it? It's not like it's not like new or nothing. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? I think this was the one years ago that I actually got into. You can see like the layers there, can't you? Of like you know whatever it is, bedrock. Yeah, you can see the layers of the layers of sandstone. Yeah, I think when the dock shut and that, there was what you might call it. There was um, there was some garages here, I think. And um, look at that up there. You seen that? Look. I got something up there. I think there's a. Um, might be able to wear trains. Yeah. 
mad in it. Just, just madness how like these things are here, and most people don't know about it. Like, but you know. It's mad the way that door's like that. Looks like it's just fell inwards, hasn't it? Yeah? It's weird. Like has someone rammed it or has it just fell in? Yeah. Some more electrical um electrical sockets here. Some wire. I don't know if that was from the when the dock was open, but some more there. Which Eric? Oh yeah. You think so? I think do you think you've just carved it out? Um we'll see where that gutter is there. See where that pipe is? Maybe it's come down and then yeah, yeah, yeah. down there. Because the way see where it, that's where it falls the water. Do you know what thinking about it, right? You could convert these into apartments, couldn't you? Right, so I've just panned it up just to show you the ceiling and how nice it looks. If you can make it out like it is slightly dark at the end and this camera isn't very good in the old darkness like, but you know. So I should imagine all the houses on Cockburn Street and uh, where bread was filmed is all sat on sandstone. Wow, absolutely nuts. <laughs> what have we got here? What we can have a look? That's old. And there's an old padlock as well. Mad, absolutely mad. Let me just show you this um, electrical socket as well. I'll just pan it up. There we go. Again, I don't know if that's from when it was open as a dock, but, or it was later installed, I don't know. I'm just good to see these little details though. Right, so we're gonna head outside and I'm gonna show you this other one. And to be honest with you, they're all the same. They don't change, maybe change in size and that, but they're all just carved out of the bedrock. So they're all kind of similar inside, unless it looks like some of them here was like plastered over. Again, probably when they were used, when the dock shut, there's garages and that, or whatever, car maintenance, bays or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's go on the next one. Next up. <laughs> oh, well. Do you know what? Some of them could probably hold like some historic kind of like um, artifacts or something. Yeah, I've the bottom there. seems to be plastered. Yeah, there's the, there's the what you call it, the uh, gutter. So we are right up here, it is gutter. Yeah. As you can see, I'll pan you up, and there is the bedrock again, just up here. All the years I've lived down here, I've never seen the top. The top of that, the bedrock. Yeah, we get in that one. Yeah, we're going to just go straight in this one. A bit wet. <laughs> Do you not wreck the place? Oh yeah. No, just that's just the same, isn't it? There's a electrical box there as well. A big hole in the floor, like I don't want you to uh, injure yourself. Ah, go ahead, right. we'll go in. The what? Yeah, it's the better one, like, but again. Yeah, oh yeah. 
these little things in the wall as well. Yeah. Yeah. Probably was. Was it that woman who was watching us? Yeah. Ah, it's alright, we're not doing that wrong. Again, the, back, the bottom of these were like plastered. So, must have been for, you know, obviously they were getting used to something, but don't know what. Drain pipes. Drain pipes. Yeah. Mad, isn't it? Proper mad. Right, should we go and have. Well. No, I don't think it's being cut out. I think that's just the way the bedrock sits, isn't it? Because if you look, that yeah, that comes around like that. It's the same style or the same kind of sandstone, and and that's the same as well. Just pan you up and show you. So yeah, that one can't really see it properly there, but it's the same same style of sandstone. It's just the layers. Well, the layers, I should say, yeah. And then the top is just, wow, it's mad. Pop on mad. Another padlock. So it's just probably plastered that. I think that's in every one of them, depending on so far off, Oh, yeah. Don't think you'll. Just before we go as well, I'll just show you this little switch box on the air, uh, on the end. Or well, fuse box, I should say. Should imagine next just he's long gone. Nice he help. Don't know what that is. Somebody never got lost in that. Oh shit, I've just fell in it. <laughs> so what was that? Number 51. 51. And 52. I'd stick the camera in with the lights and have a picture of the one inside. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. To say there was this one here, but for some reason, these um, curious Eric. How many are there? 58, 59, 60. 61 in total. For some reason, these are all fenced off. There's the Dingle Station portal there. Again, some more bedrock. Can get through that fence? No, get round it there. Get around the corner. Yeah. Down, round the end will be better. Down, yeah. What's that? What's there? That's um, Herculaneum Bridge. What's underneath? Uh, a live line. Oh. Don't know if you heard it then, it was like a rumble. Mm -hmm. Of um, rumble of trains. So there is the old Dingle Station, or Liverpool Overhead Railway. Um, Southern Extension. What you can't really see from down here is the names of the engineers are etched underneath where it says uh, Sudden Extension here. So I'm going to try and get the drone out while it's dry and see if I can get some pickies. Right, well, it was all going so well until these bloody seals got involved and started attacking the drone so I've got a tiny bit of footage of the tunnel and I brought the drone down just in case they swooped on it and bloody made it crash to the ground right here we are at the Herculaneum pub also known as Peg Legs and it's good to see that some of the original features of this playground where I used to play as a kid kind of still remain obviously the basketball court's new but all the outer is all kind of, um, from what I can remember, is all still the same. What we used to do as kids was um, climb up that sandstone. It was quite tough at the time, but looking at it now, dead easy. Brings back so many memories that oh, I've got to have a little go with that. I can't, I can't come here and not. I think it's some sort of hotel now as well. Yeah, we used to get up here and, and try and climb up it, but I think we're only about three or four. So you imagine how, how tough it was. And now he's a few steps and you're up like. 
<laughs> no, I'll never notice it. Madness. There's a bit of slip getting down now. If I remember rightly, there used to be a slide and an upside down boat. Obviously now replaced by these two basketball courts. I think the steps going through the middle are the original steps. But from what I can gather, everything else around here, like that, is uh, is unchanged. Yeah, these are definitely... Was. The steps up the slide in the middle. Yeah, the slide. Ah, yeah, because there's the thing the else for the slide. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Wow. These people more by morning. Cause Steve used to play by my uncles as well. I love to. I love this though. I love to see that because it's, you know, I didn't come here that often, but when I did, you know. Up, just up at my mate's house on Cockburn Street there. So there's the thing. There was a climb frame, possibly where the square is. This is the outline of the square. The yeah, thing. I don't know if it's been tarmacked or concreted over though. Around yeah, but these are definitely. I mean, the way they made the steps, then they had like flags, didn't they? And yeah. you know, they didn't have actual steps. Wow, it's mad. <laughs> Go on, let it fall. Give us a laugh, please. Joking. So yeah, good to see that. I don't know um, how much use this place gets now, but you know, nice and tidy. Oh yeah, there's a five aside pitch there as well. Yeah, very nice. I do quite like what's going on here. Summer Fate, the Bread Streets Group, Saturday, August 21st, Herculaneum, Grafton Park at 12 p.m. Do you know what? I might actually come down to that. This was always a little thing that we used to come down as kids. Like, um, just used to look out. Nice view though, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice view. I think that deserves a photo, actually. Well, that's the thing, you go past this every day, or I do anyway, or most days, and, you know, until you get up top, you don't really appreciate what, what's here. <laughs> but it is really nice around here, though. You know, I like the way they put all the poo bags out and done all this stuff. I mean, this is just, I've ever done this, blow the hats off to you. Wowza, it's just, wow. It's blown me away, that one, mate. This is the stadiums, yeah? No, they are, are they poppies? Um, I'm not too up on me planting flowers, like, but, you know, that is... Right, Fantastic. Well, when I say I'm not, I mean, I've, I've got plants and flowers there, but I'm not mad on them. I just keep getting the same ones every year because they're easy to grow and stuff like that. I used to do both things. And like the nasturtiums, as I say, I can eat them. So, it's happy days all round, isn't it? You know. Win-win. Yeah, win-win. Oh, yeah, I thought he was bringing some dinner there. Incidentally, anyone who used to watch Bread back in the day, that is where it was filmed. Ellswick Street. I don't know the exact number, but I'd probably say about halfway up. Again, when I was a kid, I used to come down here and watch, watch them filming. We always used to get told to shut up because we used to make loads of noise. But anyway, that's history. Right, so we're just making our way to the Docker steps and I'll give you a little bit more information on that when we get there. Right, so we're just coming up to the Docker steps or Herculaneum steps. Now, these were access for the workers when the dock opened in 1866 and when the dock shut in 1972 the steps basically just fell into disuse and they were reopened in 1984 um, so people could access the international garden festivals and some of that entrance still remains to this day and i'll show you when we get down the bottom but yeah as you can see still got like some cobbles in situ yeah so again Used to frequent these steps quite a lot when I was a kid. Getting into the Owl Garden Festival. Coming down to the easy part, going up. Is unfortunately, as we all know, the hardest part of any staircase. 
but we're both fit and healthy 40 well I'm 44 how old are you he's 50 odd so yeah so there we have it the docker steps just around the corner here is some sort of remains of the dock right so just at the foot of the docker steps is this mural by artist alan murray the theme of this mural is liverpool history and culture then and now each panel that you see is a different timeline of liverpool and how it merges into the next generation and its contribution to liverpool good or bad the painting shows people arriving in liverpool looking for work it goes on to show prosperity and poverty the overhead railway shipbuilding the second world war toxic riots Docker's Strike and a selection of Liverpool characters, famous and not so famous, who have contributed to Liverpool culture. Before I show you the apologies, I don't know what everything means in this, so, you know, just bear with me on this. Yeah, so the little girl from the Giants, Docker's Union, Garden Festival, Yours are used. The Blitz. Someone going to war there, leaving the wife and child behind. Another part of the Giants. Say so that's excuse me, I don't know what everything means on here, so I'm just picking out the ones that I know or or think I know. Definitely John Lennon. I don't know what that is. Is that the Docker Strike, you reckon? Okay, yeah. Because he used to have the barrels burning outside, didn't he? Some sort of uh, like a foreign legion, doesn't he? Yeah. A little doggy there. Two cathedrals up there. More Blitz stuff. Are these for the Radio City Tower as well? Yeah, oh yeah, Radio City Tower. Toxtus. That's going to be the Toxtus Riots, that one. Yeah, it's got to be something. It's got to be, I mean, it's got to be included in this, surely. Good, haven't they? Something else as well that's just caught my eye is that. Like a saw some sort of etching. Smiley face thing, I don't know. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. Some more bedrock there, just as we're leaving the Docker Steps area. Right, okay, so here we are, bottom of the Docker Steps. Um, this used to be uh, one of the original entrances to the Garden Festival. All these wooden panels you see here all still remain to this day this site hasn't changed since the garden festival shut and this road was constructed um along the waterfront so basically before this road was built there used to be kind of the entrance used to be here and basically this was like just a bit of a walkway was, i think it was all planted to be honest with you i don't know i mean these trees might be I, I, to be honest with you i can't remember it was that long ago but they may have been they may have been really small trees back then but obviously now you know somewhat 30 40 years later or whatever yeah my mats at the moment are not too good so but yeah anyway one of the uh one of the original features apart from obviously you've got the britannia pub you've got all this as well these little funnels which all were part of the garden festival everything behind here was part of the garden festival um britannia pub as everyone knows still uh, is in operation to this day so yeah Right, I'm going to wrap this up here and I'm going to take you to the entrance of Herculaneum Dock, which is bricked up, but I think you can still see it. So I'll see you over there. Right, so here we are at the entrance of the former Herculaneum Dock, now all bricked up. As you can see just over there, there's, um, over there, sorry, there's some 1866 on the wall and deepened in 1883. Uh, now the site of a, of a restaurant. 
Oh yeah, some of the old, that was part of the old, part of the old gate by the looks of it. Right, so the Chungku restaurant, which is situated on the Dock Road, if that's how you pronounce it, is the site of the entrance to the former Herculaneum Dock. So this land you see here, and I'm going to try and jump over the fence in a minute. You have to excuse the wind noise and show you some dates that are actually on the wall. Some sort of remains of a dock gate as well. It's very windy, just a bit of a shower as well, so... I don't know how it's going to sound on the camera. Right, there's part of the old dock gate. Again, apologies for the wind noise. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's the restaurant there. And here are the dates on the wall. Oh, shit. So, just make them out there. 1866 and then deepened in 1883. So this was the entrance to the former Herculaneum dock. Looks like it's been some sort of like, someone's looked after it a bit. Oh yeah. I got the thunder, I think I missed the lightning now. It's, it's coming above us now. It was over yonder just then. Let's get out of here before we get soaked. I did say, didn't I? Within like the next five or ten minutes, we're going to get dingy old like. Let's get the car keys ready. More sandstone there. I was going to show you some of the sites of the former garden festival, but there's a storm coming in, so. Eric apparently has got to go and put a chicken on, so we won't do that today. I know he's lying. He doesn't like chicken, he's told me. Right, well, we've had to make a bit of a retreat. There's a storm coming in. It's just started raining now. Uh, thunder and lightning in the distance, and as you can see, the sky went really black. Cheers for watching as always, and we will catch you in the next video. Whoa. Cheers.